Hey y'all, it's Katie. Welcome back to another Animal Crossing New Horizons Island tour. And today we are touring another insanely creatively themed island. This is a Winnie the Pooh themed island, which is just an adorable concept all around. So I'm really excited to see the creativity that the creator put into this island. If you guys like Animal Crossing Island tours and getting inspiration from these amazing creators, make sure to subscribe to my channel as I do put out videos every Wednesday and Friday. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and go look at the map for this island. The island name is Pear. Here is the dream address right on the screen. And this island is by my dear friend, Ezzy, who is also a Twitch streamer and amazing Instagram content creator as well. So I will make sure to, as per usual, put all of Ezzy's socials in the description box below. Please go give her some love. Oh my gosh, you will be blown away by just the sheer talent that this human possesses. <laughs> so here is the island. The terraforming looks amazing. And we do have three houses. However, the houses are empty. So this is going to be very island based as opposed to interiors today. And then for residents, holy cute lineup. We have maple. Of course, you have to have a bear on a Winnie the Pooh themed island. We have Cookie, Winnie, Gala, who I'm assuming is supposed to be Piglet here. <laughs> then we have Sherb, we have Bon Bon, we have Marty, who is very apropos for Winnie the Pooh. Then we have Dizzy, Chai, and Rowan, who I'm guessing is Tigger. So we have a lot of very familiar faces <laughs> as far as the residents go. And yeah, let's go ahead. Okay, I mean, right away. This is so perfect and adorable. We have one of the little bears here with a custom design shirt that says poo. And of course, that little honey pot right next to it. Man, I have to appreciate also this house right out of the airport. This is obviously one of the main resident houses, but it's been customized to look this way. And of course it is on the smaller side before you can actually do the home expansion. So this is super creative. And the colors, I mean, we got green mums, we've got pink mums, we have blue hyacinths, we have gold roses. The colors are just so explosive here. And yeah, I'm in love. I don't know how else to start this video other than just by showcasing that absolutely beautiful area. Oh, and we do have a friend, might as well say hello. Bunny skill hop hop, how cute are you? Also, look, look at the Marty outfit that she has on. Oh, so good. This is gonna make my heart so happy. And then we have a little tea set here. And as he did say that her beaches are flower core, which, oh my goodness. Okay, th this is how I love me some beaches, y'all. Just give me all the flowers. <laughs> And look across this pond. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's a little dock right here. Well, how sweet. Something about the birthday items too are just really well fit for this kind of island. Look at that little neighborhood. Now y'all have to let me know in the comments who is your favorite Winnie the Pooh character because I need to know. I was always a Tigger girl myself. Um, but I think that's because I just love tigers in general. <laughs> oh, look at this custom code, a little storybook. What a perfect way to end the entrance. <gasps> okay, holy bunny day items. Do these not look so incredible here? And all of the mom plushies. These are really sweet. Oh my gosh. And all of the balloons as well. Every time I think of Winnie the Pooh, I do think of all of the characters, but Pooh specifically hanging on to the balloon, floating through the air. So I can only imagine that this is what that area kind of alludes to as well. <gasps> um, can we talk about how there's a real bumblebee right here, but then there's a bumblebee code right here? Was that not just timed way too nicely? Look at how sweet. You know what? I don't think I knew you could place these plushies on these little 
mushroom standy thingy things, whatever they're called. That is so nice, especially up on the high one. Well, that looks amazing. Also, this path is fun. It reminds me of confetti. If you need anything spring core, uh, this path is pretty stunning, I must say. Wow, this is also, and I know Winnie the Pooh is primarily a children's book, but of course it's giving me those kid core vibes in the most springy, colorful way ever. Wow, wow, <laughs> look at all of these items. I have to say, I love how Pooh Bear is just kind of sprinkled throughout. This is amazing. Oh, I do have a ladder. You know what? Let's go down right here. I wanna see what this area is all about. Oh, this is the entrance again. Oh my gosh, not me not having any idea where I'm going. <laughs> also, major fan of using these money trees as actual in-game like decor. You don't see that very often, but I'm big, big, big fan of that. Oh, this is just the best. So I wonder, oh, I can sneak back this way. <gasps> Ooh. All of these houses match so well. Wait, look at this down here. <gasps> look at those simple panels just as like extended windows. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Must explore. <laughs> wow. Now this is a fun villager yard. Um, I also, I really like, cause this is the, this is the tiny library item, isn't it? It is. But the way that it's positioned and turned that way looks like a mailbox. Oh my gosh, this view, are you joking? <gasps> okay, look at how fun that is. And then you have the new nuptial items in the back. Oh, that looks so good. Everything about this is just <laughs> 10 out of 10. It's so happy too. I'm loving all of the pastels. And this is such a beautiful island to show that you can really mix up your flowers and have it still work. You know, these are all very, very different colored flowers. But they're just combined so nicely and they look so good. I'm definitely going the wrong way, but. <laughs> oh, what's over here? <gasps> is this Owl's house? Oh, it is. Oh my gosh. I mean, I kind of spoiled it by going the wrong way, but look at how sweet this is. Okay, I wanna get the full, the full effect here. So if we cross over this bridge, of course we have the little Pooh Bear and all of these balloons, but then we have these books because we're about to go get ourselves some, um, some knowledge. And then this mannequin to look like an owl and then having Owl's house be up here is just, so creative. Oh my gosh, I love the use of the bunk beds, the use of the mush partition. Wow. Oh my gosh, look at these standees too. Do you guys see that? These green ones with the um, brown fencing on it, that is wildly creative. Oh, this is a different path as well, isn't it? Okay, holy custom codes. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, and what is this? Are these meant to be clouds? Stop. <gasps> oh my goodness. Are you joking me? Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? Because this is brilliant. So these are the tree standees, of course, but you can customize them to be um, within certain seasons. Obviously these are snow topped trees and they look like clouds and same with the bushes. Oh wow, this is so smart. And also having the balloons too, to give that illusion as well. Oh my gosh, I, I am not gonna get over that. <laughs> 
And then we have Abel's and Nook's on the beach. Love a very simple shopping district area. Wow, I can't get over this. This is, I mean, yeah, that's unlike anything I've ever seen. That's incredible. And then we have a little bear. Well, actually this is a big bear. <laughs> Some stunted trees. Wow, I cannot get over this. How incredible. And of course, right next to Owl's Treehouse, which is so nice. So if we go up here. Oh, is this Pooh's house? I wonder if this is meant to be Pooh Bear's actual house. We have some stunted trees, a little farm, and a friend. <laughs> Look at that. That is, again, an amazing villager yard. Wow. <laughs> I love the Pooh Bear t-shirts on all of the bears. It's just so good. It's so good. What can you say? Can I go back this way? I guess I can. If there is pathing, I am going to take it. <laughs> Ooh, and we have a home this way. So I'm going to follow the sign back here oh my gosh yeah so like see how the duck uh decoy duck is on top of this i had no idea you could place items there that is a game changer i feel like and then we have another sweet little house up here Oh my goodness, I can't get over it. <gasps> Look at that silo behind the home too. Is that not one of the most brilliant things you've ever seen? This island is so incredible and showcases how easily you can use simple panels, standees, um, you know, all of these really cool customizable items to extend, you know, your villager houses and make them look different. I love like the libraries turn sideways. Just the creativity is out of this world. So incredible. And then we have some beautiful waterfalls back there. What a stunning way to just give some depth to this one little area. Look at all those butterflies up there too. Oh my goodness. Okay, onward. Onwards. You know I have to go over this bridge and see what's on this side. Is this back here? Oh, it's not the secret beach. It is another villager home. Okay, every single part of this island is terraformed so nicely because it all feels segmented. And I mean that in, the, in like the best way. Like every single, every single one of these villager houses and yards feels like a completely different part of the island. Look at this, you have the fortune cookie cart, you have some bunny day items. Also, I love the bunny day topiary, the little rabbit, and it also reminds me of rabbit. Oh wait, let me look at, hold on, let me look at the villagers again. Okay, so Bon Bon, I'm assuming is meant to be like the character rabbit, you know? So I'm gonna have to know, who is your favorite? Winnie the Pooh character. Let me know. Wow, now this is too cute. Look at all of the bees. Oh my goodness. Okay, camera. This is just one of those islands, y'all. We're, we're just gonna be whipping out the camera a lot. Look at all of those bees. And then we have Pooh right there as well, maybe trying to get some honey. But of course, there's a swarm of bees trying to protect their honey. <laughs> this is so incredible. And then you have the balloons as well. There are just so many sweet nods to all of these wonderful stories. Oh my goodness. I 
and love. <gasps> what is this? So I see a lot of houses here. Is this supposed to be a little village? <gasps> Whoa! I think it is. I think this is supposed to be a little village or town. Now, if anyone is a, an absolute pro at using these dollhouses and creating amazing perspectives, it's Evie. I mean, do you, go follow Evie on Instagram. Y'all will see exactly what I mean. Oh, and now we are at Resident Services. And a little poo bear. Hello. And here is where you will wake up, of course, if you decide to also dream of this Oh, so creative island, and I don't see why you wouldn't. I mean, come on. It's insane. Now, I know that this takes us back to the airport entrance, but I also want to see this area. <gasps> Look at these bubbles. How have I not noticed these yet? This custom code that looks like little bubbles. Now that is so fun. So, so fun. And then this is where we were earlier, but we took the bridge. Okay. That is a fun code. That really makes me want to create like a fairy core island, but with tons of bubbles. <laughs> this is so insanely well done. Everything. You can look up at any given point and just be floored. I mean, come on, this is ridiculous. All of these topiaries. And then of course we have a little beachside campsite, which I think is really sweet. I also must say, I really appreciate that the campsite, the um, Nook's Cranny, Able Sisters, all of that was put on the beach because truly this island's main focus is the, the theme, you know? There was no fuss with the in interiors, the beaches. It's all about the theme, and I love that. Also, these little codes. Are you kidding? Yeah, I, I really think that the villager houses are the standouts here. I mean, look at how fun. Even if this weren't, you know, a Winnie the Pooh theme island, even if you just wanted some inspiration on how to use different items, like how to use the Mario items, how to use the money tree this is a great, great source of inspiration, even using just different colored flowers. I mean, this was like really, <laughs> it's knocked out of the park. I don't know what else to say. Oh my goodness. And then we have a friend right here. Hello, hello. Whoa, I love, I, you usually don't see bridges so close to cliffs like this. Well, I'm curious now. <gasps> this view, okay. Maybe this is why. Look at this. What an absolute cutie. I love, I, I again, I love how the houses were intentionally customized to match this item too. This item? <laughs> this island. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, wow, wow. Wow. Everything, every single tiny bit of this is just amazing. The colorful flowers, we have poo bear, we have a tea set. <gasps> oh, and this, this is it. This is the view. Wow. Um. the whimsy and the creativity. I just, I can't get over that. Look at that. We have a Marty in the front of this little RV, his picture. Then we have the honeycombs. Well, they're the wasp nests, but of course they look like honeycombs. Oh my goodness. So this must be the dedicated Pooh Bear house. I could only imagine. This is amazing. 
And this exterior, oh my goodness, of course you have to give Pooh Bear a yellow house. This is so incredible. Again, the usage of the bunny day items, I'm floored. I mean, a while ago, I did a challenge with some other Animal Crossing creators on building with those items, because sometimes they can be frustrating to use, but as he's like, actually, I can make them look beautiful. <laughs> and then of course we have a tiny little apiary here, which I, I love. It's just so teeny and quaint. This is, this is insane. This is insane. Okay, I'm gonna keep exploring because if I don't just rip it like a Band-Aid, I will stay looking at this one area for the rest of the tour. And we don't need to do that, even though I really want to. Yeah, I mean, this is just wildly, wildly creative. Let's go back to the beach, actually. I'm changing my mind here. <laughs> Oh my gosh, and just the flow of everything. Jeez. When in doubt, flower it out, honestly. And again, love a good flower core beach. <laughs> Look at all of these hybrids too, oh my gosh. Just so amazing. So I wonder if I can actually get up to that other house or if it was primarily um, just for that perspective which is totally valid if it is, because it, it worked. I mean, it was incredible. Yeah, can I get down? Maybe over here. Yeah, there's something so nice and quaint. Oh, and a friend, hello. Welcome. <laughs> so nice and quaint about these little houses. Oh, sorry, my love, I have to push you a little bit. Before they're really fully built up. I mean, doesn't that look incredible? Oh, hello, I could have gone up here this whole time. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Now I'm curious, we haven't seen the museum. Where is the museum? Top left, okay. So we're gonna make our way to the left side of the map. Not me just moving slowly to look at this yard again. <laughs> I mean the colors, all of this looks so absolutely just incredible. I can't get over this little bee swarm too. There is no limit to the creativity on this island, y'all. Let me just tell you. Hop. Can I sneak through here? Oh, I can. Amazing. Waterfalls. I can't get over it. And just the poo bears everywhere. So if you didn't know, yes, you can customize the bears to have very specific t-shirts and custom designs. And here we are at the museum. Oh, I love this entrance. And again, the use of the standees to kind of extend the building. Do you guys see those in the back? Such a smart use of that item. And the great thing about it too is they don't they don't cost anything, right? It's a custom code. It doesn't cost anything to get them. So it really makes for a nice fencing alternative, a nice backdrop, something that's separate than the simple panels, you know? You don't have to use any bells for them. And this beautiful, beautiful beach with the lighthouse. I am just, I mean, truly, truly in awe. Oh, we haven't seen up here. Well, we need to. Here, let me go up to the front and we'll hop up right on. Wait, have we seen this? Hi, Sherb. Oh my gosh, I feel like we've missed so much. Okay, yes, we did see that sweet little farm area. So let me go this way. Something about the tree standees, I personally 
love, especially on islands like this that are storybook inspired or have a little bit of whimsy to them. Like, look at this. This just sweet little yard. Now, whose house is this? Because this is just absolutely fresh. And I am, is it Chai's house? No? Oh, Cookie, yep. In all of its pink glory. <laughs> Wow, just so, so sweet. And here is that amazing view I was talking about earlier. This is insane. The amount of time that it must have taken to get all of these hybrids. Oh, and a little hop. I mean, is this not just wild? Also, the butterfly models on top of this beautiful code is something else too. Look at this. Oh, I just love it. And the trees are all different. It's just so special. Every tiny little nook and cranny, pun very much intended, of this island is so special. Look at this rug. This custom code rug, the lace on it is stunning. Oh, this makes me really want to create a super, super colorful island. All of these pastels are giving me absolute life. Look, I mean, come on. Look at this view, y'all. I'm gonna try and hide. Look at that. I mean, this is really, really lovely. I don't, I don't want this tour to end. I mean, everything is just so well thought out. Every item has been curated so perfectly. Man, and again, perfect lesson when in doubt just put some flowers down and you will be doing just fine and we're back at that tree house this is insane this whole island is wildly insanely creative oh my gosh and then this is from that view earlier with the nuptial bells oh my goodness tiny little bit how sweet well y'all I don't again I don't want this one to end because it, it's just so so stunning look at that oh <laughs> not me in the money tree blocking it now I do just want to peek one last time around this other side I want to make sure that we didn't miss anything I mean, this area blew me away with the clouds. I, I mean, are you joking? Let's just give that the appreciation it deserves one more time. Hello? That is it. I'm just gonna leave this here for a minute. I know we've already seen it, but we didn't see it at this angle and Yeah, the creativity, y'all. That is like on another level of creativity. Holy cow. Oh wait, this is Pooh's house. Oh. Oh, how fun. Oh my goodness, and it is perfect because it is Marty's house. Oh my goodness. So the other home we saw was, of course, for the actual resident. And then this is Pooh Bear's house. <laughs> Look at that. This is so great. And I'm just now realizing too, because I am panning downward and I see this bell bag, but the bell bag's colors of that kind of golden and red match perfectly. No wonder it's used on this island. 
sweet little Pooh Bear's home, AKA Marty. Love that incline moment. Wow, how special is that? And this we have seen, such a stunning yard. We just must have missed this incline right here. I love how it just goes up and then down so promptly. I think that's really nice. Just a nice little touch. Can I go this way? Maybe I can. Nope. Nope, I cannot. <laughs> wow. There's no way I'm gonna be able to just eloquently end this tour. I mean, how could I possibly? But again, I do just wanna double, triple check this right side. There's Cookie, yes, okay, we did see this bottom right. Oh my goodness, everyone is on this side of the island today. <laughs> so incredible. Well, y'all, as much as I hate to say it, I think we have pretty much seen it all, which, I mean, oh my goodness, this has been so wildly fun to explore. I, I'm just, I'm speechless. This gave me all of just the sweet, warm, cozy vibes that I ever could want. I hope y'all are having an amazing day wherever you are in this big old world and, um, I guess the best way to end this tour would be saying TTFN, ta-ta for now.